Hello and welcome to Gadget X-Ray. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the most important features for TVOS and Siri Remote after this brief intro. Alright, so first we need to give your Apple TV a name. If you have multiple Apple TV, this is very useful. Or if you just want to personalize it and give it a name, go to General, Airplay and go to Apple TV name. Choose a custom name or one of the one made for you. I'm going to choose Great Room. It's very handy if you have an iPad and you want to stream your uh, screen to the TV. It mirrors it and make it the same exact replica. A very important if you are invested, for example, in Amazon, Spotify, and other services that's not available in the Apple TV. You can just stream your movies. For example, here is a trailer from Back to the Future. That's where you're bringing your old Amazon library if you invested so much. Also, I like it for drawing. If you're playing a game or you're making a guest game, this is pretty kind of nice. You just want to explain something. It's always good with drawing. I also tried this with the camera and shockingly it does work. So probably you could use this for some uh, uh, pranks or something. I like using this for Reddit also to see those funny moments. Pretty hilarious to watch this on the big TV. If you want to enjoy the private listening and you have some Bluetooth headphones, also you can go to Bluetooth and hook your headphones so you can have your own private listening and not disturb anybody. Or even if you just want to listen to some good uh, songs that require good headphones. All right, so it's got discovered. I'm gonna choose my uh, headphone, and voila, it's gonna be synced. Awesome. Also, if you want to navigate, uh, double press the home button, and you can navigate from one app to another. It's pretty easy. Or if you have multiple apps, you can just close them by swiping up. Sometimes you get those apps that freezes and it's good to get rid of them this way But if your uh, Apple TV is slow, you can go to system and do a restart and you can kind of refresh your Apple TV If somehow your device is not responding, you can push the home and the menu buttons Until your Apple TV starts flashing and then release them Then your device will restart what I love about the Apple interface is that you can organize it using your trackpad. Just uh, choose the app you want and hold it and you will be able to choose uh, where you want to put it. So I like having my games all in one row. If you press on it and swipe a little bit faster, you're going to go to the corners. If you swipe slower, you can adjust where you want it to be. Very handy. If you feel like the trackpad is too fast for you or too slow, go to remote and devices and then press on the first option and you can choose how fast it goes. So for example, medium, my favorite, allow you to swipe normally. If you choose fast, it's going to be super fast and kind of crazy. And you can choose slow if you want also, it's kind of good, but I'm going to choose medium now. If you want to check on the battery of your remote, go to batteries and you will see a battery icon telling you how uh, much battery you still have in your remote. Storage is very important on the Apple TV because if you have the 32 gigs especially, your storage will run out easily. I highly recommend getting rid of all of the apps that you don't use uh, because it's going to slow your uh, Apple TV and also if you want to add the, the volume buttons to your Apple TV go to volume and choose learn a new device get your old remote and press the volume up button and hold it and the bottom one and you will be set you can use it to control the volume on your TV or stereo system. Also, I like that the remotes have a built-in gyroscope. So if you're playing a game or something, you can just use it like your phone. And 
it's very responsive i like uh, the, this idea just like the wii remotes hope you guys like this video and if you want to see more i'm gonna be making some more uh, tips and tricks for the apple tv and other devices subscribe and see you in the next one bye